Hey everyone, well, Pablo here. Welcome back to the channel where I make how to videos from subjects like Mac Tips, Backend, Swift, Salesforce, and Game Development. This is another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to build an enemy health and damage system. In the last video, I showed you a player health and damage system. So this time, we're going to do one for the enemy. Let's go. So I'm using some assets from the marketplace, the Goblin. Um, you can check that out. So it's currently free for the month. So with the Goblin asset, I have two AI characters that I created here with, which has a spear on them. When I uh, hit play here, you would see that they have health stats. Each one of them have different health stats. And when, when my character overlaps near the AI, it would decrease their health. And eventually they would die, uh, burst in flame and die. So similar here with the other character, same thing. Cool. So let's go ahead and see how to build this. So starting off with the blank third person template, I'm going to go to my content drawer. First thing I want to do is organize. So I'm going to create a new folder called main. Create a couple of folders here called bloop. One is blueprint. And the other one is called UI. So under the UI folder, right click and select user interface and select widget and user widget. So I'm going to call this WBP enemy health and I'm just going to quickly do this. So first add a canvas, then add a progress bar, progress bar, make sure it's anchored in the center and then reset the spacing here for the anchor. I'm going to say minus 52 and minus 20 and size y20 and then i'm going to add text here and same with the text here i'm going to name this um, current help text and the current help text it's going to be minus 48 minus negative 52 and size 16. I'm just going to quickly duplicate this with control D, control D for this second one. This is just going to be a forward slash. It's not important, but I want the anchor to be the same as the rest. So, um, so this is minus eight minus 52 cool and then this one same thing anchor there reset everything and 3 minus 52 and text of 16 so it should be fine cool so we want to create a couple of why is it up there let me do that again sorry uh, minus 52 minus 20 and text of 16. There you go. Those were just some rough numbers that I played around with. You could uh, figure out what works best on you. Um, so here, I'm going to create a binding. So right here, click on create binding. And we're going to create a couple of variables. Make sure you're creating on the variable, not on the local variable. So this one, I'm going to call it current health with a value, with a type of integer. So I'm just going to quickly return that value. Fix that a little bit and go back to the designer. I'll go here to the next one of under the text, create and bind and create binding drag that out we'll create another variable here called max health and the same thing we're going to return the max health compile save now finally we could create the progress bar so the progress bar at the moment is a float so because it's a float we need to make a few adjustments so create uh, click that and click on create binding and here what we want to do is when uh, we're going to grab the current health and the current max health and basically we're going to uh, change this to float 
same here to float and then we're going to divide the current health with the max health to get the float returned to us so that's how we get the percent click on save and yep yeah, that should be it um, next is let's go back to the graph actually and go under the event graph so we don't need any of this uh, currently so you can delete that and instead uh, search for add custom event and we want to say update health here and from the update health we're going to have an input so for the input i'm going to call this current health with a type of integer integer there you go and then we're going to set the current health to whatever value is passed there so there you go so that's how you set up the widget let's compile save and then go back to our content drawer actually and go under the blueprint so here right click select blueprint class and select character so i'm going to say bp um, main enemy and let me drag that in here cool let me quickly save that so under the mesh um, under skeletal mesh assets here you could search for sk goblin if you're using the content pack and i could use this and i could just roughly put him down here and let me add him here and let's see if he's not floating he is floating so that should be fine uh anyway not gonna spend too much time there anyway uh next is we're gonna add a spirit collision cool so make sure that spirit collision is a bit bigger than the character and then go back to the mesh character here and click on add and search for a widget and then drag that widget a little bit higher on top of the character like so and under the details here look for the widget class and the user interface and select for the widget that we just created wb P enemy health and currently it's just shown on one direction here instead of always visible so I'm gonna change this space to screen compile save then go here and hit play you can see that our character is now showing some health stats currently the character is not animating let's go back there select the widget um, under here part of the content pack there's a um, there's some animation already so I'm just gonna select anim goblin body idol so that should animate the character a little bit give it some something um, next is let's create a couple of variables so here under here I'm gonna say current health and give it an integer then say max health give it an integer well I'm gonna jump into the event graph and delete a couple of these we only need the event begin play so I'm gonna grab the widget here drag it out and then I'm gonna check get user widget object and from here I'm gonna cast to the WBP enemy health widget that we just created hook that up like so and from here I'm gonna create promote this as a variable I'm gonna call it WBP health like so and then we're gonna set the first I'm gonna set the uh, current health so the current health of the character is gonna be what we have here I'm gonna put that on top oops and then next we're gonna set the max health and set it up like so and basically just hook this up 
gonna move that a little bit here so it's a little bit presentable cool so compile save uh, one thing I want to do going back here is I want to make this instance editable and give this some re default value so for the current health I want to say 120 for the max health make that instance editable and make that say 200 so when I compile save go back play you would see my player is now showing some stats cool so let's go back and do a comment here say set current health now we want to create some damage so uh, with the spear selected the collision spear selected here um, right click and say add begin overlap so what we want to do here is when the third person character is the one overlapping so we want to cast BP to third person character we want to apply some damage so right click and select apply damage so currently you have this option so the damage actor would be the self so it would be the current character that we have and the base damage at this moment is a float so we could hard code some damage here so I could say 0.5 would be 50 and and we also want to play a sound when we overlap play sound 2d so we know we're overlapping and this should be fine so compile save go here when i overlap nothing's happening at the moment because the event is not being received so here I'm just gonna comment this and say apply damage and here right click and say event any damage so this is the part where any damage received by that actor would be um we could write some logic so here currently the damage is a float right so but the way we compute it is through integer so we want to trans uh, make the damage the float into an integer so we could compute it so first we want to multiply the damage say by 100 and then we're going to grab the current health and we're going to minus what the damage is and then we're going to set back the current health to what it is cool and then next we're going to have a reference to the WBP health and from here we're going to call the update health custom event that we just created and then we're going to hook up the health and then set the target like so so now when I go back, compile, it will deduct from the player. But right now, nothing's happening. It goes into the negative area. So let's fix that. So what we want to happen is if it goes to negative, we want it to spawn and then kill the actor. So let's grab the current health. And let's say greater or uh, less than. Oops less than or equal to zero if it's true we want to create a branch cool so if it's less than zero um, what I did was I spawn an emitter uh, I say attach and then the it was the capsule component where it was attached to and and then the emitter that I selected was actually, I, I think it was fire. Yep, the fire. I was playing some animation. So, yeah. So, let's say play animation mesh. And from here, select the goblin die. Nope, not goblin. Goblin die. I uh, also put some delay. Put some delay say for two seconds after it's in two seconds only after it's been two seconds we want to destroy the actor compile save um, overlap 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 it didn't go to zero it went to minus 30 and then died 
so what we could do there is clamp some settings in here so under the current health here I'm gonna detach this I'm gonna go under here max health get I'm gonna say clamp detach that so the max goes to the max here the value goes there and the return value goes here so that will make sure that the minimum value is zero it won't go over zero so let me put that up up there and play it again and boom and fire boom that now the other thing that I did was I created a child class from here so on the blueprint right click and select create child and from that create child open it up and basically I could change the uh, the skeletal information here so I selected eyes uh, I think it was red that's that's fine um, and then going back to um, the variables here um, under this gear here you could show click on show inherited variables and then from there I could set a different variable for this player so I could say 300 then 50 and I could drop them here I'll rotate this guy a little bit so it's a little bit and I could also do the same thing if I have those values here uh, because I have the instance editable I could also change it like so so when I do this now I have two characters boom dead boom 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 cool so that's the video hope you learned something new uh, thumbs up thumbs down uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel cheers bye for now